In this video, we're going to be checking out different ways we could add search forms to our WordPress theme. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just add it to our sidebar and that, that's going to be pretty easy. All we're going to do is drag and drop the search field into the sidebar. Then when we're done with that, then we're going to go and add it to our header section by including it inside of our header.php file. And to do that, we're just going to be using this WordPress function and we'll be checking out the documentation pretty soon on that. And then when we're done with that, then we're going to figure out a way to customize our search fields just a little bit more. Now, there's multiple ways to customize your, your search field. And I'll show you a couple ways. And one of them is the search form.php. So we'll be creating this document in this video. And then after that, then we're going to have figure out a way to display our search results really nicely. Like normally it would use the index.php file, but we'll be creating a search.php file to display our search results. So let's first go into the dashboard and just throw in the field into our sidebar. So let's move this off to the side. And then if we go to the dashboard and just go into appearance widgets, click on that. And then I'm just going to drag and drop the search bar right in here. Easy as that. And let's throw that at the top. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it search. That'd be good. Okay. And then just save it. And that's it. Uh, that's all we really need to do for that. Refresh it. We should get one right here. Okay, great. So now let's say, for example, you want to customize it. Um, you could just go and inspect the ID that WordPress gives you. And this is just a standard form WordPress gives you, but we're going to be customizing it a little bit different. But let's say you want to customize it this way. You could just go target this ID and then go in and target the input that way in your CSS. That's one way of doing it, but we're going to create a search form.php file and customize it a little different. So now let's go and add this search field to our header section by using this function. If we pull up that checklist, so we're going to be using this function and I'll have a link down in the description. You could go and just click on that and you'll end up on this page right here. And you could uh, read up on this function as much as you want. So on this page, they give you nice snippets that you go and copy and paste and we're going to be using this one in our search.php uh, later but let's just go and just include just the function for now so i'm just going to copy this copy that and let's just paste this right inside the header and see what we get so inside of the header.php file you could throw this anywhere i'm just going to throw it right at the top of the header and then uh, let's go and create a container we could wrap this in so i'll just wrap it inside of a div tag and I'm just going to call this search header. That'd be good. Okay, great. And then inside of that, we'll just create the PHP tag like we normally do and then just paste that function. Okay, so this is going to give us the standard WordPress search form that WordPress gives us by using this function. So if we save this and go to the front and check it out. So let's refresh it. And great, as you can see, we're getting the standard WordPress search field. And it looks exactly as the same as we've got over here. And if we go and we inspect this, we're getting the same form as we got before. So great, so let's, now let's go and just add a couple more styles to this. So let's first go just target, uh, let's target this container right here, this search header container. And then we'll just add a border and then just have it float to the right or something like that. So let's go into the CSS and do that. So if we go and pull up the CSS and let's go in here, we'll just go and copy this. Jump in here and I'm just going to throw a couple styles down here at the bottom for this. Okay, great. So I just added a couple styles to the header container or the, the search header container. So let's just save this and then let's run it on the front. So we refresh it and oh, I got to clear the cache. So just click on this, go to more tools, clear browsing data, and then just clear everything. Okay, great. X out of that. Now it should work. Refresh it. There we go. Okay, great. So now we got a nice search field inside of our header section. So let's go pull up our checklist. 
So we added one to our header. Now we want to customize our search form.php. So let's say, for example, you want to get rid of the button or this text here, or you want to change the text. Well, you could just go create a brand new document and then create your own form and you can make it look totally different or whatever you want to do. So let's go just create the search form.php. And then we're going to go back to that page and copy some of the snippets they got in there and just paste that right into our new new document. So let's go back into the code editor and create that document. So right inside of our root of our theme, we'll just create another document and call it search form. Okay, so now that we have this document, WordPress is going to use this document instead of the standard search form. So now we can really customize it. So let's say, for example, let's just create a section tag so we, we could wrap everything inside of a section tag. And then we'll just give this a class like custom search form or something like that. It doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, and then I'm just going to throw anything in here. Let's just throw like an H2 tag. And then I'm just going to call this search form. All right, so now if we save it, we should get this instead of the standard search form. So let's go back to the front and check that out. So if we go, okay, great. So now we're getting that search form.php instead of the search form. So now we can add in our own custom search form. So let's go back to that page we were on. And down here, they got all these really good snippets you could use. And I'm just going to go and uh, I think it was the last one. I'm just going to copy this one. And let's go back to that page page and just paste it right below the h2 tag now it's really important that you have this name and this id as s wordpress actually is going to look for that and also it's pretty standard to use this inside of it because this is going to return the value of the search that you do so it's pretty important that you keep this pretty much the same and then also this this is very important too to get this to work properly. This is the way WordPress is gonna recognize it. But other than that, you could really customize it. Let's say, for example, you don't want the button. You could go and get rid of the button, or you don't want that text that was at the beginning, you get rid of that. So I'll, for now, I'll just leave it just the way it is. But just note that you could really customize it the way you want. So let's just go and save it. And let's go and refresh it one more time, see what it looks like on the front. Okay, great. And as you can tell, we got a different search bar now. So that's really great. So now let's go and just um, add some color to that text so it sticks out. So I'm just going to target that H2 inside of this. So I'm just going to copy this. Go back here. Just throw that down here at the bottom. Just add a border to it. Okay, great. So I just added a couple uh borders and some color and that's pretty much it so let's just save that let's go run it on the front one more time okay great so as you could tell you could really customize it that way so now that we're done with that let's go and do a search so uh let's search functions or something like that i searched that before okay so hit search and as you could tell our index page is handling it but what we want is the search.php to handle that. And the reason is, is so we can really customize our search results. So if we go pull up the uh, list here, we're going to create the search.php file and we're going to customize our search results. So, so let's go back to the code editor and create a search.php file. So like we did before, we're just going to create a new file right at the root search.php. Okay, great. So now we got a document to handle all our search results. So now we can really customize it the way we want. I'm just going to X out all these documents. And then let's just pull up uh, the index page. I guess we'll just copy and paste that. Or actually the page, that'd be better. Yeah, there we go. Let's just copy this. And just paste that right inside of our new search field. And then we could customize it. I'm just going to call this search page or something like that. That'd be good. And then get rid of that S. Okay. And then I'm just going to put search right here. All right. And then let's just go and customize this, make this look a little different. So I'm just going to put a, a P tag and say something like this is the search page or something. So we know we're on the search page. And then also uh, add like a H4 tag or something. 
Okay, so we customized it a little bit. So let's just save that. And then we'll just go and add some styles to it. So copy this. And then let's pull up our CSS again. And just down at the bottom, I'm just going to throw a couple more styles down here. Okay, great. So I just added a border and then a color to our H1 like we did before. So let's just save that. And let's go check this out on the front. So if we go and we refresh it. And as you can tell, our search page is kicking in now when we do a search. Great. So if we go back to our home page and let's go add in functions again. Click on that. And let's search it. And our search page kicked in. Okay, great. So let's go and check out our checklist. So we created a custom search.php. So in the next video, we're ready to move on to the next thing. And what we'll be working on is the WP query. So I'll see you then.